Hello everybody, my name is Cyberwolf and welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Last time, uh, we, uh, we kind of grilled the, um, Espio and Vector for, honestly, reasons I don't fully understand. I get it, we were trying to find out the truth, but at the same time, it felt like we already knew the truth and we're just trying to make them get really anxious for no reason. <laughs> Um, she don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer. Mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Like the little chow bouncer back there. <laughs> all this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. Ah, oh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you, brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Ro Rouge. <clears throat> We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Tr treasure They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. Alright, well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé Chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, uh, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh, finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your ex assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow Egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this. I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that, or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Wolf, do you have an opinion on this? <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Well, stealing is for squares, but in my opinion, anyone who says square is a real square, so I'm not gonna say that. Um, it's time for a five-finger discount. Well, I suppose if Blaze and Wolf are in... Okay, let's find the, that Fabergé Chow Egg. Heh, <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access the Fabergé Chow Egg Room is behind... Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg Room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we, um, distract the guard? Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. <laughs> well, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in the casino, my poker face needs work. <laughs> okay, who's distracting the security guard? I think it should be Blaze. I think you could distract the guard, Blaze. In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. 
What's the distraction? Um, that's <laughs> the trouble about their partner and kids. Push a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Causing a ruckus. I like it a lot. That'll get the guard's attention for sure. Let's move forward. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Um, pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That Chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Wolf, what's your plan? Um. Uh. Say there's a drink without a coaster. <laughs> Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I, um... You're dressed far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else! The card obtained. You need Blaze to get out of there, Wolf. Um... Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted, uh, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it to the elevator. Inside, we um, pop some apple cider. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure uh, we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Um, tie them into one big knot. My shoes don't have laces. Does anyone know here how to tie a knot? Yes. Well, no. Um, I can, but I gotta sing a little song while I do it. <laughs> I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. Guess someone didn't want to hear my song. Um, I have tails to disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that leads uh, us nicely into our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Cry and hope they sympathize. Imagine you're not in pain. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Uh, cry. Tails managed to do it. <laughs> Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up the, uh, that elevator. But we're on a train. <laughs> I don't understand. Do it. I am upset that there wasn't like a whole thing of like art slides to just show, maybe like, like a comic strip or something to just show that entire thing going on instead of just the stick figure planning board. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. Uh, we couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was ex executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> Possibly be storing in all of these. This is the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings, too. Rings? You can find those lying around the grass. There's no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the Fabergé chow egg inside. Is there anything else to click on? I don't think there is. No question. This has to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprint and find out, Ro Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Oh, <laughs> this is the fucking date this game came out. <laughs> oh, wow. It's here. Haha, <laughs> I have it. Alright, before anyone else sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? 
Rue, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. Can you open- you can open the egg? You sure can! And all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. <laughs> it's a bomb. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg se- Has no one lived to tell the egg secret? Because each egg is a bomb? I think you're on to something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We'll need to dispose of that egg, now. Dispose of it, after all our hard work? Rouge. Fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with the bomb? Uh, we could twist the egg again, throw, throw and lock it in the safe. That's a pretty good plan, actually. Toss the egg in the elevator. Eat the egg. Take one for the team. Open it up to see if there's wires to cut. Could be okay. Smash the egg against the wall. Have Blaze set the egg on fire. Rock the egg to sleep. Stomp on the egg. Let Tails cool it down with its tail. Let Rouge kiss the egg. Chaos control the egg away. Flip the egg upside down. Uh, let it finish ticking and see what happens. Tell the egg to stop. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna save it. <laughs> um, I, I want to let it finish ticking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb wolf. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Wolf, I think you're onto something. Huh, what's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just, Espio did say something interesting when he quizzed him about the train's manual. Um, sorry, I accidentally double clicked like right before that whole transition, so we just missed that entire thing there. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology has it installed to insist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms reinvent, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and mess afterwards. Robotic arms could also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring it ensuring passengers' safety. Did I accidentally click the right decision? Those robotic arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this Fabergé egg chow egg, the arms would have detected it, and it wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay! <laughs> the egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Whew! My, my, well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. The punch was right, thankfully. I, I can't believe I, I just got it right, just like that. Ian, look what's inside. Oh, it's a little bedazzled chow. Oh, look at that sparkle, and it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? But I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lives to tell the Fabergé chow egg's secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I know. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. What a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Well, that was fun. 
No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at his post. Hope they deduce the drink coaster fiend. Okay. Thank you both for your assistance. The hunt uh, was ex was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in the bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, uh, it's as I said. Finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you keep take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart at the end of a sentence and make things better, but I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. <laughs> well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a number- we have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just a much suspic uh, suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Wolf. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Jesus Christ, we spent that entire time, we've already solved whatever mystery is to this car we can arc continue, and we didn't spend any time, like, searching this room at all. Thanks again for your help earlier, now that I can, uh, are you hungry? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem, just let me know if you need anything, uh, something later. Sure, if I need a bag of chips, I'll holler chips. Hmm. Ask Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist, a scientist that always caused trouble for us in Sonic. Hmm. Every poker chip I've uh, personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it. And I'm not, not too surprised to see this here. That's fair. I'm, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised then. Can we play some slots? Yes, play the slots. Alright, let's see. Big money, big money. Well, I lost. Do it again? Yeah, let's play some more. Alright, let's see. Big money, big money. Well, I lost. Alright, third time's a charm. Oh. Four times. Wolf, what do you expect to happen if we keep playing? Big money? I'm not gonna get it, uh, this- I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see. Well, I lost, but maybe I'll get it. Big money, big money. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. Well, I lost. Do it again. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the sunk cost uh, f uh, fallacy? The sunk cost fallacy? The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon strategy of court... Uh, or course of action because they have invested heavily in it, even when it's clear that uh, abandonment would be more beneficial. Of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. Alright, big money, big money. <laughs> uh, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. Alright, big money, big money. <laughs> Come on, big money, big money. Come on. We're just gonna keep going. Is Tails gonna equip, equip in anymore? Uh, I don't think he is. I, I think he's done. I think he's done with us. Hmm. Oh, thank goodness. I really thought I lost you for, for a second. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Robo-arm. The capabilities of these robo-arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know, the conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. 
at the very least, things operate much smoother uh, with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're never, they're very versatile. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Can I take your order? Can't you do anything in the menu? I'm content for now, thank you. The whole, maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. Big tell, you sweat out uh, all your uniform. You sweat out of your uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're a very um, animated person. Wow. I forgot that it's supposed to have an alibi. Do you think you could go over your alibi again in the first place? When Navy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé Chow egg. We talked and talked, we walked and talked to the casino car um, where we went our separate ways. I scoped around and can discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, um, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was a brief. Uh, he gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing in the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see. 14,000 credits? That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That's smart. She's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do I tell Cream I... S do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Alright, let's get her alibi. Do you think you go over your alibi again with us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino bar and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library and saloon cars till I found uh till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during the search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had the time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Dr. Emmons built a lot of casinos to run around in, uh, but I've never actually sat down and play any of them. Oh, we can, can we play Blackjack? Well, if we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. Damn it. All right, well, here's a good time to save. Um, that wasn't as much to it. But it was a lot of fun anyways. Um, so, I'll continue along next time. Um, and hopefully we'll figure out the murder. And <laughs> Knight's Pinball. Oh, what's that? Twinkle Park. Um, I, I don't know if these signs have anything to do with anything, but... I feel like they possibly might. Anyways, I will continue along next time to the next car, and I have no idea what the next car really is. Um, oh! I, I forgot what area that is, but Shadow is the last one to meet up with. So I guess we'll be interviewing Shadow next time. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to play this game for yourselves, link is down in the description down below. Please give this video a like, push friends, and don't forget to subscribe on your own. This is Cerebral signing off.